Mr. Young, wait, are you the foreperson? Yes, I am. And has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, we have, Your Honor. And so I'm gonna hand the verdict forms to our clerk and ask that she publish the verdicts. Yes, sir. And uh, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I wish that you please stand and hearken to your verdict. In the Circuit Court of the Fourth Judicial Circuit and in Fort Duval County, Florida, case number 2005635CF, Division CRG, the State of Florida versus Brenton Leonard Butler, verdict as to count one, we, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. Please, uh, so please, please, everyone, please, please maintain decorum in the courtroom. Thank you. Case number 2005635CF, Division CRG, the State of Florida versus Brenton Leonard Butler, Verdict as to count two, we the jury find the defendant not guilty. So say we all done at Jacksonville, Duval County, Florida, signed by the foreperson, dated November 21st, 2000. <clears throat> okay, does counsel for the state or the defendant wish the jury be polled? No, no. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you want, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for your time and patience in this matter. Uh, I hope you all come away from this with a sense that you really have done something to contribute to the community, to the criminal justice system. I hope that you uh, have some pride in the, in the sense of the process and uh, pride in, in the way that you have uh, contributed to that and participated in our system, which I think is the best legal system in the world. I'm sure they love to. Yeah. They're doing good work, Danny. Take care, gentlemen. Thank you. There is still a man out there. That man is 20 to 25 years of age. He is probably about six feet in height. He still has a functioning gun because the work wasn't done when and how it should have been done. Stay right here for your news. This is ABC 25. Well, he was a high school student accused of murder, tried and acquitted. Now, a year later, police say they had the wrong guy. First Coast News I-Team reporter Winston Dean is at the Ramada Hotel where this crime happened. And Winston, tell us more about the man who put it all together. We understand uh, it wasn't anyone in law enforcement. 